What is going on guys? So today I'm going to cover kind of like a classic old video of mine, which is where I just cover a specific topic about basic training, and that is how much sleep do you get at basic training? All right, so two common questions that I get is, you know, what's the food like at basic training and how much sleep do you actually get? The food, honestly, real quick, I guess you could add this in this video, it's not that bad, but that's kind of subjective, but it's definitely better than it used to be, you know, a long time ago. But how much sleep do you get, right? So it's gonna vary depending on whether you're in a garrison environment or you're out in the field. And a garrison environment, if you didn't know, is basically, you know, in buildings and things like that. When you're out in the field, when you're doing an FTX, you are in the woods, right? So you're in a building, that's garrison. Outside, that's a field environment, right? So keep those things in mind. When you're in a field environment, you are typically gonna get much less sleep. You're also going to have to still do fire guard whenever you're out in the field, and maybe you have, you know, four or five hours of sleep, but in that four or five hours, you're going to have to pull fire guard for an hour, so you're gonna have to get up a little bit before. It's gonna take you a second to go to sleep, so that's gonna have an impact on you. And then when you're in a garrison environment, you can expect you know, drum roll, the answer is around about eight hours of sleep. I would say seven to eight hours of sleep is what you can expect when you go to base training. I know I thought that I wasn't gonna be getting that much. I know a lot of people think you're not gonna be getting that much sleep whenever you go to base training, but I will say you're still going to be very tired because you're kind of, even though sometimes at basic training you are not doing that much, you're still kind of out and about all the time. You know, drill sergeants are kind of constantly smoking you. They're kind of constantly making you uh, be in the front line of rest position. They're constantly making you do push-ups and things like that. That throughout the day, you're doing that like all day long for the most part. And I guess you just kind of get worn down from that. You know, you're always kind of walking around with a whole bunch of stuff on your flick, with your rucksack or whatever, or your assault pack. You're you're always carrying something around. And I think you just kind of get just more tired in general. So an eight hour night of sleep, I feel like, at least for me, whenever I was at base training, we got like eight hours. It was just, it was very tiring still, right? So that's about how much sleep you can expect whenever you get there. It's not gonna be like, you know, you're getting four or five hours of sleep every single night it's not gonna be like that you know if it is like that that's maybe just like one night in the blue moon and then when you're in the field right so when you're doing those FTXs whenever you're doing that you know for Fort Jackson that um, the forge right that's what it's called I almost forgot the name of it but when you're doing like the forge and whatever you know you can expect to have I would say anywhere between two to five hours of sleep. You know, some nights you might not even sleep at all. Honestly, just being completely honest with you guys, you know, when you're in the field, you, there might be a night where you actually don't sleep at all, right? Which would suck, but it is still a possibility. So just keep it in mind, field, less sleep, garrison environment, more sleep. When you get to reception, you're gonna get uh, definitely probably, I would say max of two hours of sleep the very first night. You're not gonna get much sleep the first night. I'm not sure if it's really planned to do that. I guess it kind of could be, because like if you don't sleep the first night when you get there, you know, the next nights it kind of just ensures that everybody's tired when they should be tired and which is all the time. So at reception, you're not gonna get really, in my opinion, as much sleep as you will when you actually get to basic training. That was just my experience, but I would say four to eight hours of sleep at reception. And then guys, I want you to keep in mind that throughout all of this, even at reception, at basic training, when you're out in the FTXs and stuff, you're going to have to do fire guard. I talked about fire guard, but essentially throughout your nights, you're going to wake up for an hour in the middle of the night and you know clean or you know be on watch or something like that and it might not be every single night but there will be a good chunk of nights where you're going to be waking up for an hour just in the middle of the freaking night and it's going to suck you're going to have to get up get dressed get ready go for your hour then come back get undressed and then go back to sleep so that's going to be it for this video make sure you guys check out jim fidel link is in the description for 20 percent off when you use code ward it's a freaking awesome deal so yeah hit the like button Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell button because you're just freaking awesome and you want to make my day. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat if you haven't already. I hope you guys have an amazing freaking day. And I will see you later. Drop.